Hey everybody, welcome to writing day two. It is plan day and I have gone through all three of my sources and taken notes. So I did these notes on day one, An Act of Courage by Lauren Green. I did these notes on day two, the Monuments Men, or not on day two, these were the other notes, Monuments Men Foundation for the Preservation of Art, and then 2014 International Women of Courage. So I have my notes here, and now I need to make my plan. I have to start with my prompt, so I'm going right back to my prompt. It says, for your social studies class, researching both traditional and unexpected heroes, using the information um, information and examples found in The Courage of Heroism Passage Set, write an informative essay on what it means to be courageous. Okay. So it's informational about what it means to be courageous. Alright, so I think I'm going to look at my information and I think I'm actually going to put, this is going to be my examples of courageous acts. Is the main idea for this, oh I put arts acts, the main idea for this one, and this one is what is courage. That's going to be my main idea for that one. All right. So so I'm going to talk about in my beginning. Not alone on earth. Um, and I'll put from here, this is the source, so I'm going to have some source information here. My main ideas. E-O-U-S, okay. So, not alone, many problems that came from this text, and this is how I'm going to put in my main ideas. Okay, so examples of courageous acts. Um, well, well-known figures. Courageous people of all sort. Well-known figures. Okay, let me go into here. So I've got my NAACP or my Rosa Parks. So Rosa Parks, and that comes an act of courage. MLK in the same text. All right. So I need to um, talk about. My, so that's my text evidence. What would be my OT to this? Let's see, what could I do here? So she talks about... My OT could be learning in school. In February... Um, Black History Month. Okay, that's that's gonna be my OT for that one. And then so it's less known figures. And I'm gonna put three hundred and forty-five peeps save art. And that comes from the Monuments Men. Come on, 
Let's look have to expand this a little bit. And I can talk about all that there. And my OT. My dad having us volunteer at the soup kitchen. And then my transition. Show us what it means to be create courageous. Right there. Okay, so now I'm going into my next test. What does it mean to be courageous? All right, and so I have this text evidence from the 2014 International Women where it talked about having leadership. And all of these people showed leadership, a willingness to sacrifice and bravery. my OT about this what can I talk about this so oh I could talk about teacher of the year Okay, and then tackle challenges. Oh, and this came from the 2014. I'll just put that text. Okay. 2014, and my OT is going to be. Um, planting a butterfly garden, a pollinator garden. L L N A T pollinator garden. Small acts that make a big difference. All right, and now my ending. Oh, we can see my great examples in history. To do. All right, so here is my plan to respond to what does it mean to be courageous. And let's talk about what the um, plan is for you guys. So this video was about, let's say, 10 minutes long. So you have 45 minutes to an hour, which includes the video. So we're going to say either 35 minutes to, uh, to what, 55 minutes? No, 50 minutes. So 35 minutes to 50 minutes. And you must create your complete plan. All right, um, you can create your plan on Office and submit it. Uh, submit it to me, remember, make, via Office. Make sure that I can edit so that I can give you your score. It is due at the end of the second day. So it would be 
324, I believe that second day is. It is due to me so that I can give you credit for that and give you a score. You could submit it via Office or you can write it, take a picture, and submit it via Edsby. You can upload the document in Edsby or you can um, send it to me through Remind. So, upload written. Oh, it helps if I spell that right. L O A D. Upload written. So you would just take a picture. and send via Remind or upload it to Office. Now if you upload it to Office I won't be able to give you a score. Um, the only way I can give you a score is if you submit it on Office. So if you type it and submit it I can do it that way. Um, I probably will I can upload a um, like a sheet with everyone's name on it to say okay these are the scores that you got I'm not gonna hide anyone's scores though so if you want it that way of course everyone would be able to see it they wouldn't be able to change it but they'd be able to see it so I can um, you can submit it via Remind or Office with the upload or Edsby. Alright thanks for watching everybody